Hi, this is Money from BSE to NSE.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the maximum pain theory, and uh, this is a pay, this is a theory that uh, an options buyer or an options trader or a seller should pay uh, attention to. So this will give insights as to uh, what is the best time to enter into options hedge, what is the best time to book profits from a buyer perspective as well as a seller perspective. Now the maximum th pain theory is actually based on the open interest. I've mentioned this at the end here. Now so people who believe uh, trading based on open interest uh, can pay attention to. So um, as everyone will know buyers of options contract if you just keep holding till expiry uh, the options contract for most of the uh, strike prices will become zero and buyers will tend to lose as they keep holding the contract till end of expiry and sellers will try to make use of this situation also so the max pain theory is nothing but finding the strike price where most options contract becomes zero as you can see in the second point here uh, the max pain theory will try to find out the strike price where uh, the buyer of the contract will lose most of their money where seller uh, will gain the most so again the next point that I'm stating here is that if markets end near the pain zone during expiry the sellers will win meaning the sellers will take home most of the money and the buyers will lose their money to the sellers so let me just give you a uh, show an excel sheet of how I am calculating this so that uh, it will give you a clear indication. So as you can see here I have uh, taken this data from nseindia.com and you can also get it uh, in the option chain. So what I have done is I have taken the currently market is close to 7650. So I've taken uh, the contracts which are like 500 points below and 500 points above and I've ignored the interim contracts which are like 7650, 7550 because the open interest will be less on that. So what I've done is I've taken the open interest here of the call option. The open interest on the left is the call option open interest. Open interest on the right is the um, put option uh, open interest. So this I have taken from nseindia.com, the, these three columns that you see here. And you can take it at any point of time yourself and load it into an excel sheet. Now what I am doing on both the sides is I am um, calculating the intrinsic value that will be left on the day of expiry. Uh, for example there are 32,500 contracts, uh, sorry 32,750 contracts for 7100 call and if the market ends at 72 on expiry this contract will be worth 32750 multiplied by 100 so I have put that here so similarly the 7200 call uh, if the market ends at 7300 will be worth uh, 207300 multiplied by 100 <clears throat> so I have multiplied this open interest by 100 and I've added this here, each of those here, right? And similarly, uh, I've added all the others by 100 and I've added them uh, similarly for the put option as well, right? So again, if the market ends at 7600, then you have to calculate um, uh, this strike price uh, the open interest multiplied by 500 and you can add everything here or all the uh, intrinsic values left here so as you can see I've added 87550 multiplied by 100 I've put it here uh, similarly you can just add the intrinsic value left in all these contracts similarly for the put option and you can find the total pain by adding the buyer intrinsic value and the seller intrinsic value at the respective contracts. So the only thing is I've just made a, a small mistake here wherein um, I've just multiplied it by 100 the OA 
but in actual calculation I'll need to for example if markets is ending at 7600 then the intrinsic value for this contract will be uh, OA multiplied by 500 and not just 100 so that's the only mistake I've made here but for that the calculation of the call pain and the put pain is uh, pretty much the same so I'll just show you the chart how it will look when you plot these numbers so you can see that uh, the green value that the entire pillar is the total pain value and the call pain is in blue the put pain is marked in red so as you can see currently the pain zone is between 7600 to 7700 or until 7800 wherein in this zone if markets is going to end by end of this expiry uh, the seller will uh, go home as a winner and as the markets if it's gonna rise or if it's gonna fall a lot as you can see in case it's going down uh, the buyers of put option co contract are going to go up I mean are going to end as winners and you can also look from this graph that most of the people are betting that the markets will go down this month so that's also something that you can uh, take away by uh, looking into this chart so basically this just gives you like a like a vessel and you can see that uh, the 7600-7700 zone is the area where uh, the seller will gain a lot so typically the seller will not look to will be booking profits on his hedge if the markets come close to the pain zone even before the expiry because that's the best zone for him to exit for an options buyer uh, who wants to enter into a hedge uh, this zone is the best place to enter because uh, the seller will stay away or actually be booking profits so the premium uh, will not be expected to dip further as an options buyer if you're gonna buy in this zone and if it goes away from the pain zone by 200 points or 300 points that will be the best time for an option buyer uh, in his uh, to book profits in his hedge because let's say currently uh, the pain zone is near 7700 and uh, I'm entry I have entered into a hedge this month into nifty by buying 7600 put and 7800 call now if the markets goes towards 7450 I'll be in good amount of decent amount of profits in my uh, nifty hedge and I look to book profits because if it continues to go down further towards 7100 I'll, I'll make more gains but if it comes back towards 7700 by uh, end of expiry then I'll tend to lose a lot meaning I'll uh, the profit zone I will lose the profit zone and it will also it, it can also go down below my uh, purchasing price on the hedge so typically I look to enter into a hedge when markets are near the pain zone and if it has if markets have moved uh, away from the pain zone by maybe 200 to 300 points I will book profits and I'll wait for the next opportunity when markets will come back towards the pain zone and this opportunity you'll get once or twice in a month so you can make use of that and you can just you should just wait and enter uh, exactly when the markets are close to the pain zone and exit when it goes away by 200 to 300 points and for a seller it's the opposite even if markets have moved away from the pain zone by 300 points at that time I would look to enter into a hedge by selling contracts on both the sides and I'll wait for the markets to go towards the pain zone and once it goes towards the pain zone I'll book profits and I'll again uh, wait for the next opportunity when it has gone away from the pain zone so uh, this is a simple strategy that you can execute and I've been trying this out for the last two months and it's worked pretty decently so far and you can try this out and comment on this video and let me know how it goes and um, check out bsc2nse.com we provide free uh, training opportunity for our clients face-to-face uh, -face training and before we close this video I just want to summarize here based on the ma max pain theory what you should do as a buyer and what you should do as a seller as you can see uh, uh, when the markets are near the pain zone you have to enter into an options hedge meaning buy both the call option and the put option on both sides uh, out of the money 
and when markets move away from the pain zone uh, by maybe 200 or 300 points and once you are in profits on the hedge that's the best time to book profits on the hedge or at least put in the stop losses so that uh, it will ensure that uh, you book profits and you don't lose uh, from the profitable situation and what you should do as a seller when markets are away from the pain zone by 200 to 300 points enter into a seller hedge by uh, selling contracts or away uh, out of the money on both the sides and wait for the markets to go near the pain zone and once markets are near the pain zone book profits on the seller hedge and wait for the next opportunity uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos and um, comment on this video uh, if you want to know anything or if you have any queries on this and check out bsc2nse.com and uh, check out our free training uh, uh, service also. Thank you. Bye-bye.